Welcome back, Trinidad and Tobago. I'm Hema Ramkisun, and we're coming to you from the movie town that's in Port of Spain. This is the first time in almost four months that these doors are going to be open to members of the public. The movie town experience and the movie town group, they're built on ambience, friendship, and socialization. But COVID-19 has changed all of that for not just Trinidad and Tobago, but the world. And to give us a first sight, in a first sight into what is taking place today, joining us on this edition of This Week in Business, Derek Chin, the chairman of the Movie Town Group of Companies. Mr. Chin, thank you for having thank us. Thank you. Thank you for having us. This is the first time that I think you're reopening your doors in four months. What does it feel like today for you? Oh, well, we have a lot of uh, excitement and anticipation. As you said, we closed for four months, you know, with this, no staff almost here and nothing happening, you know, it became a ghost town, which I think I said so earlier. So we were very happy to be able to start, um, see how the response is, and make sure that everyone is, uh, follows the procedures and the protocols and that we are safe, both staff and patrons, and that we could start to see things go back into what could be at least some, some semblance of normality. You know, let's walk through this experience because here we are. I have been to this facility so many times, Mr. Chin, and you know, I've seen this, we've come to this concession line. So let's start. We come, we buy our tickets. Tell me how that is going to change and let's talk about the experience of buying food. Okay, well, there's a lot of signage. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to tell people, you know, you when you come here, you have to follow certain protocols, you know, as part of the regulations and guidelines. Um, so the first thing you'll find would be uh, a lot of signage telling you, well, you know, wear your mask, sanitizers are around, so sanitize, clean your hands. If you need to wash them, there are bathrooms all over. And then you go to the uh, concession area where we have a number of things in place to protect the, uh, any possible transmission. Um, there's social distancing, which is very important and very critical for us, uh, and probably our most sensitive area. Right. Um, we tend to be a little more flex, I would say, in terms of when you go into the cinemas with your mask. I think it would be difficult to eat popcorn right. and drink with, with a mask on. So we tend to say, okay, you're sitting down, you can probably take it off and, and, and chew, go well and chew your popcorn. You've installed all of these? Yeah, so this is an area where you'll be able to, probably the most um, a sensitive area. So there's the plexiglass and place your order. And then they'll get the trays, put the popcorn and the soft drink, whatever your order is, and, and then be able to pay everything here. And then of course, this is very little interaction between you and the, and, and the, and the attendant. Again, we are we're monitoring how things go. We want to ensure that, that, that there's no um, uh, issue of, of, of somebody you know, coming here that has COVID. Um, I think the country is pretty safe overall, you know, so far, and you know, knock on wood, and uh, and hopefully that we could go through week after week um, at that level. And I think the confidence in the in the population will grow, and they will start to feel a lot more comfortable coming to places like this. Now we're entering Cinema One. This is one of the largest cinemas in the movie town complex. So tell me how things are changing. Okay, so basically everything is fairly normal here, as, as you're accustomed to. Again, we don't want to make it too intimidating either. That's another right. thing. You notice we have new seating, all leather, okay. which is more, much more hygienic than the cloth seating. Mm -hmm. So we made that change in the latter part of 2019. Um, and we went this route, it's much easier to clean, you know, be, they've all been sanitized quite a few times and uh, hopefully at the end of each show we will sanitize. So you're going to have the sanitization yeah. crews. Tell me a little bit about the seating. So I come and I sit yeah, here, sit me down here right? and my significant so other So let's say it's four of you, right? no problem. Okay. If it's strange, we probably, if we can, allow two or maximum, uh, minimum would be the one and then we would have the next set sit here. And so all the way down. So you have attendees that, are, that will yes, regulate Yes, they will this? be here. Okay. Not, this is normally not the case. Uh, what would the minister, not the minister, the CMO was more concerned about was the, uh, the distance the, in front yeah. of you. Right. Now, that's where it was supposed a little challenge because sometimes we would say, okay, let's keep the rope clear. Right. So the people in front don't have somebody breathing on top mm. of them and try to alternate it. And I think we will try that for the first time because I don't think that we will get uh, a 50% scenario right at the start. So I mean, we were hoping for better. But if it comes, then let's assume here there are two people not here. Mm -hmm. Then there's a possibility that two could sit behind. Okay. Understand? So it's, that's why we made it a little more discretionary. Mr. Chen, we are here 
obviously this is your first day of reopening but the big question is going to be what are people going to be looking at we know hollywood uh big production houses have shut down several sitcoms have shut down even so what are you opening with well you're quite correct uh the film studios distributors are realizing the demands might be a little bit shallow and, and not as, as high as they expect when you when before uh, the covid um so the production of new films have only now started back so a lot of them held back um, releasing movies, um, some blockbusters and so on, just to ride it out a little longer mm -hmm. and, and sort of get people back into, this, into the cinemas. As a result of that, there's a shortfall for us. Uh, we are going to be showing some of the original movies we st before uh, COVID. They, they will be still be showing, but we've added a feature of some of the old classics, you know, like Jaws and Gladiator and so on, just to uh, get people comfortable back into, this, into the cinema. Those movies actually are free. Um, we are going to ask you to purchase a combo, you know, a wontons or a chicken, and, 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 and you can see the movie complimentary. Tell me a little bit about some of the challenges from a movie, from the movie town perspective that you face and how do you have to overcome it with your business model? Well, you're quite correct. COVID is antisocial, right? My feeling was, when I first started this project, was to give people a, a, a feeling of um, happiness, to have the children enjoy life, to be you know, free from all that was going on around us, you know, that was negative and dark. That's why you see the colors and the brightness of the building is to encourage that. And certainly with COVID, which is a great challenge, who would have thought of this? That means that you know, we don't want people to mix anymore, you can't shake hands, you can't hug, and it's taken away the essence of what Movie Done was supposed to be. So it is indeed a big challenge for us. So what we have to do, and I mean besides the science and hopefully that one day a vaccine would be found, is to try and, and, and do everything around us to still create some semblance of that, that, that philosophy. Um, I think we've, we've gone a long way. I think people at the end of the day, and I have to congratulate the, the government and the Minister of Health and so on, because they, they have actually, I think, Trinidad is pretty, pretty COVID free. Mm -hmm. I don't think that we have to be worried about, you know, if the other person around you may have it. Right. Um, we still have to be cautious, but I think everybody coming into the theaters and enclosed environments are going to be probably COVID free and I'm hoping that I'm right when saying that. So we're going to build on that. We're going to try and ensure that yes, they're comfortable, that all the protocols are in place, that they could come down and spend two hours and enjoy uh, the way it was, for, you know, and, and I'm hoping that we can be successful in that. Movie Town is not just about a cinema, it's an entertainment complex. Ryan, you are spearheading this aspect of the, of the business. Tell me a little bit about when we talk about restaurants, people come here for the ambiance, they come here for the views, they come here to laugh, to touch, to feel. How is this going to change? Um, we're going to change in a couple of different ways. I mean, um, one of the things we're trying to do is, you know, a lot of about restaurants is the experience in the restaurant. <clears throat> What we're trying to do is actually <clears throat> extend a little bit past that to kind of have the experience happen before you get to the restaurant. Similar to like when you go to a hotel, you know, things are already set up for you. So a lot of our things are now kind of moving towards the online. A lot of online reservations, um, a lot of um, online wait lists. So we can kind of set up before you reach. Um, we're definitely looking at changing the way we see guests as well, with being with the social distancing, the sanitizing, and definitely trying to use our real estate to our advantage, using a little bit more of the space that we have outside. And um, overall, just trying to make sure that um, the guest needs are met and that they're confident in how we set up our restaurant. I want to thank you both. And I know this has been the conversation today for the first time in four months. Several parts of this compound will be reopened and Trinidad and Tobago, Movie Town is now open. Your entertainment awaits.